Acumatica data visualization using OData and Excel. In this video we're going to show how to take data from Acumatica and using the OData format pass it to a business intelligence tool such as Power BI or Microsoft Excel and use those tools to create visually stimulating data that's easy to analyze. So let's begin by showing how to make OData available from within Acumatica. To do that, I go to System, Customization, and Generic Inquiry. The Generic Inquiry is what allows me to make data available. Within the demo data, something called Invoiced Items has already been configured to be exposed by OData. That means simply this box has been checked, and I've specified a sitemap title and location that's important because those specify the security parameters when a user logs in regarding what he can consume and see with regards to this data. In the results grid, I can specify the different fields I want to make available via my data feed. In this case, notice I've gone ahead and I've got some calculated fields here. Also within the demonstration data, notice I have a file attached here. This is an Excel file that gives an example of several charts that can be driven from this particular data feed. So let's go ahead and open that up. Now I'm going to begin using Microsoft Excel as my business intelligence tool. To do that, I must first connect it to my data. Originally, I went to the Data tab and I selected this from other sources option. This opens an OData feed wizard that I can use to manage my new connection. Since I've already created a connection, I'm just going to go in and modify the existing one. So I go to connections, hit properties, and go to the service definition. Here I'll specify the URL and company of the Acumatica site where my data is located. Excel asks me to log in because it needs to know which user and which data to expose to me. And just like that, I've gone ahead and I've established a new connection, and Excel has gone and downloaded the data exposed in the inquiry that I've set up in Acumatica. Now I can close this and go in and look at the different data options and configurations that are available in this spreadsheet. So we have a simple table here. You can see here's all the data. I've got my inventory items uh, as well as a profitability calculation. I can go in here and uh, change the financial period. Initially I looked at everything in 2015, but if I wanted to I could go back into prior months and select more data for my table. If I'm more into charts and visualizations, I can go here and take a look at a chart that I've already created basically showing the profitability as well as movement of overall data. You can also go in and configure these. So for example, if we want to get rid of a couple outliers, maybe the industrial oven and widget 01, we can go into here. And there you have a different view of the data. Likewise, we've created other options for you here that you can go uh, peruse and take a look at. Now let's say I wanted to create a new graph that's completely different from something that's here already. So maybe we want to take a look at something like overdue charges that have been acquired over different periods in a graphical format. Now that I've got all my data set up, that's really easy to do. So we go create a new data sheet, and I'm going to go grab an existing connection. So I'm going to go in and grab this one that's a connection in this workbook, hit open, I'm going to set up a pivot chart and hit OK. Since we want a trend-oriented graph, let's select financial period. Uh, since we want to see how much money we're actually doing, we're going to click extended amount. And we want to take this and we want to narrow it down by the different type. So we're going to add type to the filter. So just like that, I've got a real simple graph created that's going to show some of the data. 
I'm not interested in everything here. I'm really just interested in overdue charges. And just like that, I have a history of overdue charges. You can also go in and obviously modify the format and the appearance of things. Now it's set up so that whenever I go into data, when I hit refresh all, new data from Acumatic comes down and repopulates and refreshes this graph. Thank you for watching this demonstration on how to use OData within Acumatica and Microsoft Excel.